I'm Matt, I'm a full-time wannabe. Uh, basically, I want to be a full-time RVer, and uh, that's what my channel's about. It's my adventure from going from a house to getting on the road. And um, I'm stoked, man. Uh, I've been working hard at this, and I'm heading there. I'm almost there. Back, I'm oh, so close. I um, actually got my girlfriend backing me up on it finally. You know, after three years of me trying to put this together, she's like, well, you go and make sure it's good. <laughs> so anyway, today I want to talk about power, but, you know, not the normal power. You know, I have a, I have a 6x12 cargo trailer that I built. I got a couple videos on here uh, on my channel of the build. And um, I have like a walkthrough video and then I have another video it's just a four minute video, of, of, it's like a slideshow from the, you know, the day I bought it to me getting it finished, you know, getting it built. And it runs off solar. Um, I've got 800 watts of solar, uh, but I've been finding out doing my little short trips, making sure everything's working and testing things out, that uh, 300 watts is really all I've, I've needed. And um, I bring two extras and an extension cable uh, so I can, you know, you know, in case I want to, you know, get up under some shade. And I am in Texas, so in case I get to, you know, want to pull a trailer up under some shade, I can take two more, you know, two of the panels and kind of just put them into the sun and just kind of follow the sun, you know, if I, if I needed that. But I mean, the 300 watts, believe it or not, so far has been great. But I'm not running my business out of there or anything like that. Um, anyway, getting off track. Uh, I want to talk about my portable power. Uh, you know, I, I do the camping and, you know, I get to where I'm going to be holed up at for, say, a couple weeks. And, but I want to do little adventure trips, you know. I want to maybe do a three-day trip, uh, you know, climbing, you know, the mountains somewhere. And it doesn't have to be the mountains. It could be anywhere. Um, or let's say I want to do a five-day trip down the Green River. I'm dying to do that. I can't wait to go do that. That's, that's my thing. I want to go down the Green River, the San Juan River, I think. I want to do the Colorado River if I can, you know. Um, I just don't like all that permit stuff. You think I got permits for everything nowadays, you know. It's, it's crazy. It's just like, let me just go in a, let's go a little canoe down the river, man. What do I need a permit for? And uh, so anyway, I want my phone to work. That's where all my music's at. I got my speaker. This is just a little USB Portable speaker, it's battery, it's already got batteries in it, so it's rechargeable. This thing will last all day, but I gotta charge it, you know, if I want to use it tomorrow. So, what I first started doing was I bought one of these. Well, actually, I bought the littler ones, the little phone chargers, they're about this big, they're smaller than a remote, and uh, they got about 5,000 milliamp hours, 10,000 milliamp hours, and you can recharge your phone. Your phone goes dead, and uh, you know, you're at work, and uh, I don't know, you killed your phone for some reason, though you shouldn't be on your phone that much while at work. <laughs> but I see people with them all the time because their phone's dying and they gotta charge them up. And um, they're great. Uh, well, they're not great, as far as I'm concerned, because every one I've ever bought was crap. I, mean, I buy all these little ones, the little, you get them at the dollar store at Walmart, you know, they're 10 bucks, 5 bucks, they're in the, you know, checkout aisle. And uh, you know, I could use them for a month and then they're broke. They don't work anymore. So, I thought I'd go big and I bought a big one. And it's got, you know, two USB ports so I can charge, uh, you know, a phone and maybe a headlamp or a phone and my speaker. Um, but at 5,000 milliamp hours, you're only going to charge one of the other, and then it, this is no good. This one's 10,000, so I can charge them both. But then this is dead, and I can go one more day, and then what? Well, everybody knows about the preppers, and the upgraders, and the homesteaders. Uh, of course, the homesteaders say <laughs> more stay away from anything electrical and they try to do everything manual. Um, but the preppers and stuff, you know, believe it or not, they get into electronics. And um, Anchor, that's the name of the company, Anchor. And anybody that knows Anchor, let me tell you, that is three thumbs up, big time. So I bought an Anchor battery, it's the same battery is that, but this one's 20,000 milliamp hours, and I, I, from what I'm hearing, they're, they're coming out with an even larger one, 
which is crazy cool. Um, and this is, I can charge my phone, I can charge my, my, my headlamp, I can charge my speaker. Well, I can, you know, I can charge everything with just this. And this will last me, you know, sometimes two days. Combining them, that's 30,000 milliamp hours. I can literally take these and just use these and go for three to four days, depending on how crazy I am with the, you know, with the phone and with everything. Three, four days with these two. Incredible. But now what about, what if I'm going for 10 days? Okay, now there's two different ways to do this. You know, am I doing, you know, five to 10 days backpacking or am I doing five to 10 days canoeing? Because if you're backpacking, you don't want these. This is a China one, it's cheap. You can feel it. This is Anchor <laughs> and you can feel it. This is three to five pounds more in your backpack. You don't want this. It's just too much. Canoeing? I'll bring the kitchen sink with me. I, when I take my girl canoeing, I literally brought a queen size mattress. Well, not a real mattress, but it was a blow up mattress. But it wasn't just a $14 one. I had to get the big giant, oh, it's not camping. I'm breaking her in, you know? I've been trying to for a long time. I don't know if I'll ever break her. Probably not. And um, so here's the solution. This is also Anchor. You know, I figured once I saw that, you know, once I got the Anchor battery, once I got the Anchor battery, I knew. I was like, I found my company. You know, after all the reviews and the, you know, the prepper guy and every guy. I mean, it was. This is the way to go. You know. Um, I've learned my lesson, trying to save a buck. I'm poor, so I always buy the cheap stuff first, and it breaks, and then I end up having to buy what I should have bought the first time. That happens to me all the time. I never learn, and I keep trying to tell myself. So I broke down and got this battery, but once I got it, I'm just like, dang, why the hell did I buy this? And don't get me wrong, this was awesome. I'm actually shocked. <laughs> I've actually had this for over three years. I've used this so many times I can't even count, and it still hold, still charges. That was a fluke. This I got what I paid for. Same with this. What this is is it's a 21 watt foldable solar panel. This thing doesn't weigh nothing. I mean, it's like a pound. I mean, you don't even know. I mean, if, I don't care if you're, you know, weight conscious on your pack. You add this and whatever your pack is when it's done, and you put this on there, there's no difference. I promise you. And, um, here, take a look at it. This is awesome. So it's got three panels. The 21 watts. With this, I can charge my completely dead phone in 45 minutes. That's it. Now when I'm canoeing, don't think for a second I'm not bringing these and this. I'll just lay this somewhere in, on, you know, in the middle of the canoe, put both of these puppies up, and by the time I get to where I'm going, these are brand new and I'm good for three, four more days. And if not, I got this. And what's cool is I don't even need the batteries. On this side, right here, it's got a, it's got a little pocket. And you can keep your cords in here. I can keep one of these in here if I wanted to. Well, kind of. You know? You can put them in there when you're charging it. It's the way I do it. I just like, you know, if I'm charging my phone, I'll stick my phone in here and just kind of zip it up because when you're canoeing, the sun hits your phone, your phone overheats. So this will protect it. Yeah, it's black, but you can always throw something over it, but my phone's never overheated in this. I just, I just leave it out there, man, you know? I don't care. I just leave it out there. 
That's what it's made for. And uh, my phone don't heat up or nothing. Anyway, this has two USB ports built in. So really all I keep in here is just my cords. Unless I'm going light, like backpacking. When you're backpacking, you're not bringing these. They're just too dang heavy. And this, I mean, that's just three more items to your pack. It's just going to be too heavy. What's great about this with backpacking is because this is all you need. It's grommeted. It's got grommets on it. Take a little, uh, you know, a little, you know, string, a nylon, whatever, paracord, and you can strap it to the back of your backpack. So let's say you used up all your, you know, your phone and your speaker and your headlamp, you know, at night, and you pack up your gear, you, you, know, you put it in your pack, run two little power things to the USB here, and just hang this on the back of your pack. By lunchtime, everything is charged. Everything. Everything is charged for the rest of the day. And, you know, if need be, you can set this back out, you know, before dusk, and just kind of top everything off. Everything I use is USB chargeable. This is a little USB chargeable sun jack. I use all, it's got all the same cords. Everything plugs in the same. My phone, um, both of my batteries, both of the headlamps. This is uh, the little headlamp. This is the one, this is all I really ever need. This is great. Just a nice little cheap one. I put a rechargeable battery in there and I use this sun jack. I use a rechargeable AAA and this will do double A's and triple A's. And, uh, and I keep two sets. I keep a set in here that's charged and ready. And I keep the battery, the one, in here. Now my girl is a little bit different. She's not walking in the dark. Well, I had to get her one of these bad boys. <laughs> this is like high beams of a car. Freaks out the... Yeah, well, I'm not going to get into that. It's bad beam. <laughs> get her in the dark, maybe. So, anyway, this is really all you need. And uh, this runs you about 140 bucks. That, I know it's a little steep, but you see this? Anchor. Anchor. You get what you pay for. I seen a company that, uh, that came out, um, Big Blue. They're new. And they make a bigger one. It's actually got, it's actually got four panels. They look a little bit thinner. And it's a 28 watt. And it's only at like 60 bucks. But let me tell you something. Now, I'm not going to say they're good or bad. I don't know, so, you know, period. I'm just going to leave it at that. Never used them. But, you ever see those little solar panel things that you can buy? It's like a little battery pack, just like this. It's got a little solar panel on the back. And they're like, hey, use this thing when you go camping. Always have power and stuff. Here's the thing. That thing... You gotta charge your phone all day for hour and hours and hour. I mean, just on and on all day. And in those times, I know because I bought I bought different versions of it, trying to find the right solution through the years. None of them will charge my phone in a day, unless it's just like the best of all days. And it's just dead in the sun. I put it out there at 9 in the morning. By 4 at night, it should be good. <laughs> yeah, no. That's not for me. That is all you need. For 140 bucks, guaranteed that your phone will be charged in under an hour. I don't care what you got. I don't care how many batteries you got. I don't care how many speakers you got. How many headlamps you got. You're good. And it's 
gets light enough, you can pack it in. And if you're canoeing, you got these. So that's my, uh, that's it. I hope this gives you some ideas for, you know, whatever that you're looking for. And, uh, hey, like and subscribe to the video. I'm Matt. I'm a full-time wannabe.